Good morning, everybody. Lone Wolf Rick here. And I am starting this walk at the corner of Las Vegas Boulevard at Silverado Ranch. Just heading down the Las Vegas Boulevard here. You can see the Mandalay Bay down in the distance there. Hope everybody had a great weekend. Just seemed like a good place to start walking, you know. Take a look at this uh, little shopping mall here. So how's everybody doing today? I had uh, a nice restful uh, Sunday, anyway. Had a uh, yesterday afternoon. It's like I had a buddy call me up and say, "Hey, you want to come over and watch the uh, AEW uh, uh, Pro Wrestling pay per view?" And I'm like, "Sure." So uh, went over to his house and grilled some hamburgers and hot dogs and watched the wrestling pay per view and. Just kind of relaxed. Had a nice relaxing uh, afternoon and evening. As you can imagine, these stores here in Las Vegas are really, really big business. Really popular. These liquor outlet stores. Biggest ones are Lee's Liquors. Uh, and the kind of old time families here in Las Vegas. Uh, kind of a tragic tragic family but uh, their liquor stores is like are always the the biggest ones the top selling ones I say tragic because it's like just uh, you know the father kind of the, the patriarch I guess of the family the father passed away and then not long after that the son was in a car wreck and he passed away <clears throat> This was like a few years ago, but uh, just kind of a, you know, just sad. Take a look back over there. It's like a thing. You see, there's still a little snow cap on the uh, mountain peaks over there, which is pretty cool because it's supposed to get up to 92 degrees down here in the, down here in the, the Vegas Valley, as they call it. You see, there's still a lot of uh, a lot of land out here. It's like uh, you know, Vegas basically still has. It's like if you head back the other way, you know, going up Las Vegas Boulevard towards the M Resort, there's a lot of vacant land. It's like uh, going all that way up there. And as you've seen from uh, some of my other videos, it's like, you know, where that Diamond Inn Motel was right across from, uh, right across from the Mandalay Bay. Uh, that property is like closed down, that old motel closed down. And uh, it was put up for, 
put it for auction and nobody actually bid it on it. And it's like, uh, now the word was, it's like, it's a little over, it's a little less than an acre and a half that the motel sits on. Um, you know, the rumors always were, it was like, you know, somebody would end up buying it and probably turn it into like a residential condominiums or whatever. However tall they could make them because the airport, you know, it's right there. The runways are pretty close. But uh, the rumor was it was like the starting price was like 12 million, 12.5 million. And it didn't sell. So, I mean, they didn't get any bids on it. So now it's just up for sale. So it'll be interesting to see what happens there. Like I say, it's just right across from Mandalay Bay. So fairly close to where there's some action, you know. This sign here, this court ordered sale for this uh, big chunk of land right here and all these uh, everything. But would you spend 322000 for a fixer upper? I think I may have mentioned this once before, maybe, but uh, back in the 90s. This area right here, there was a place that was called the spa. You see that big pad out there. And uh, there were a lot of uh, uh, duplexes and stuff and everything. But there were rumors that this piece of land right in here during that time. Uh, Walt Disney Company was looking at it. So that kind of got everybody excited here in Las Vegas. Now they would have had, obviously, it's like, uh, you know, that piece of land's not big enough to really do whatever Disney would have done with it. So they would have had to buy, you know, well, you can see it's like these places are like boarded up. So I don't, I'm sure that's probably part of that the acreage that's for sale. So they would have had to buy back into the neighborhood also. But uh, everybody started getting excited when the word was that Disney was uh, possibly looking at buying this piece of land right here. And then uh, obviously that never happened. Could you imagine uh, a Disney park here in Las Vegas? Now, if you remember back in that time, the 90s, it's like, uh, you know, that's when uh, all the advertising and stuff was trying to make uh, Las Vegas family friendly. I remember even MGM Grand, when it opened, it had like a, a small little theme park behind the property. And like a, you know, roller coaster and a water log ride and, you know, a couple of other rides. And then, you know, the shooting gallery and so on and so forth, you know. In fact, I used to take my daughter there. We used to go there a lot. It was a lot of fun, you know, when she was, uh, you know, seven, eight, nine years old. The problem was, and I'm sure the problem with, like, whatever Disney's original thoughts was of doing with that land, the problem was, it's like, you know, it's just, uh, summertime gets too hot. 
that they had a hard time getting people in the park when it's 115 degrees, you know. So now the property sits there, uh, nothing going on with it, just a barren piece of land. Take a look across the way over there, kind of at the petty corner you see where it says the sign in the back there says factory stores. That's not, that's the original sign when they built this, uh, when they actually built this factory outlet mall, late 80s, early 90s. Now it's like there's a, there's a real cool, the antique mall of America is in there. That store is very cool. You know, it's, it's a, just a huge, huge store for us. It's worth walking through uh, just to see the people's antiques and stuff, collectibles. It says, you know, you can uh, rent a spot in there if that's, your, if that's your thing, you know, run your own small business. It's just a cool area. It's worth, I mean, you can spend... Uh, a few hours just walking around. It's like the uh, that storefront, or that antique mall of America. You can see the sign here on this other corner, uh, court ordered sale. You know, so it was all that land. It runs from uh, this street right here, which is Serene, all the way back to that uh, that last street down there. So. Now I can imagine what the price would be, but I'm surprised some uh, some corporation hasn't really gobbled that up yet. This building right here and these buildings behind it are all residential apartments. Nice look to them, very nice. Uh, from what I understand anyway, the apartments are very nice. That jet up there, take it off. Alrighty, everybody, I think that's going to do it for this video today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Lowell Wolf Rick. Please leave me a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate that, everybody. And uh, hit that subscribe button. That uh, helps my ego out. It makes me feel better. <laughs> All right, everybody, take care, okay? You see this very first door over here, very first storefront. That's the uh, where the antique mall of America is at. 
if you're ever looking for something to do when you come to Vegas. Very cool area. I'd recommend it. All right, take care, everybody. Stay healthy. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much, everybody. Bye-bye.